If you don't give up, you still have a chance. Giving up is the greatest failure. From zero to hero, from no one to someone in history, how did a middle-class guy from a small Chinese town who failed many times in high school teach himself to be a Chinese business tycoon who influenced the Chinese economy and continued to become Asia's richest person, the only Chinese person to be on the Forbes list for the past 50 years? You're watching Life Story Inc. And this is the biography of Jack Ma. Prologue Being a communist country, China does not have much exposure to the capitalist Western countries. In the early 90s, internet is booming in Western countries like the US, but 90% of the Chinese population doesn't even know the internet exists. No general information about China is available on the internet. None of the Chinese people were in the internet business. They don't have much knowledge about its potential. Many of the Western countries tried to tap into the huge online market of 1 billion people, but failed to get adapted to the local Chinese market. Childhood and Early Life Ma Yun, nicknamed Jack Ma, was born in Hangzhou, located in the southeastern part of China in the year 1964, to a musician family of limited means. He has an older brother and a younger sister. He and his siblings grew up at a time when communist China was increasingly isolated from the West, and his family didn't have much money when they were young. He is not an active student in school and weak at mathematics. He has been fond of English since childhood. After President Nixon visited Hangzhou in 1972, Ma's hometown became a tourist mecca with an overflow of visitors. When a teacher told him that she'd seen foreign tourists near the lake, Jack headed down to see for himself. Ma started waking up early to visit the city's main hotel, offering visitors tours of the city in exchange for English lessons. The nickname Jack was given to him by a tourist he befriended. He practiced his English for nine years, along with continuing his education. Failures and Rejections Failures and rejections hit him hard early in life. He failed the key primary school test two times and the middle school test three times. Having passed high school with difficulty, to continue his studies, he applied to many universities for the first three years, but failed. He also applied for Harvard University 10 times and got rejected every time. Then he joined and completed his bachelor's degree in English at Hangzhou Teachers College China after failing it two times, 1984 to 1988. He applied for various jobs and got rejected 30 times. Jack is the one who has been rejected out of the five members who applied for the police department. And he was the only guy who didn't get the job out of the 24 who applied for a job at KFC. Jack Ma finally joined as an English teacher for $12 at the Hangzhou Institute of Electronics and Engineering as he couldn't find a better job at the time. Family life. Ma has largely kept his family life out of the spotlight. He married Zhang Ying, a teacher whom he met at a school after they graduated in the late 1980s. He is not a handsome man, but I fell for him because he can do a lot of things handsome men cannot do, Zhang said. They have two children, a daughter and a son. Turning point. After being an English teacher for five years, 1988 to 1993, Jack Ma started his first company, Hilbo Translation Agency, in the year 1994, which provided English translation and interpretation. A year later, on a trip to the USA on behalf of the Chinese government, he was introduced to the face of the internet. He surfed the internet using beer as a keyword and was surprised not to have found any information regarding the China beers. Intrigued with this, he used China as a keyword to surf and was shocked that he couldn't find any info regarding his own country. Seeing this as an opportunity, he, along with a friend, started a website named Ugly, which contained info related to China. And within three hours, he received many emails from Chinese investors wishing to know about him. This is when Jack Ma got to know the potential of the internet and that it has something great to offer. Career and Struggles on his return, he founded China Yellow Pages, which created websites for Chinese businesses and was one of China's first internet companies. He left the company two years later, however, partly because of a strong competition from the communications company Hangzhou Telecom, which had founded a rival company, Chinese Page. From 1998 to 1999, Ma was head of an internet company in Beijing that was backed by the Ministry of Foreign Trade and Economic Cooperation. He felt, however, that if it remained with the government, he would miss out on the economic opportunities that the the internet was bringing. Ma never thought that he was smart. He had an idea to build a site that allows exporters to post product listings that customers could buy directly. 
No one of the 30 venture capitalists he approached for investment believed his idea, and in turn, demotivated him by saying that he is working for something that doesn't even stand a chance, and that he is a crazy person wasting his time on it. At last, Goldman Sachs and SoftBanks offered a capital of about $25 million because of the determination and the persistence he has towards the idea he envisioned. He believed firmly his idea, and had a strong intuition that something big is waiting for him. He later motivated and gathered a group of 17 friends, and started his idea, Alibaba.com, in an apartment. Alibaba.com is a platform that can help suppliers to sell their goods all over the world. Also, buyers can buy goods through this web. A local newspaper published that Alibaba was a terrible idea. Around the time, the dot-com bubble bursted in the US, leading to the bankruptcy of many online businesses and many investors backed off from the online industry. Due to little knowledge of the internet to the people, lack of trust in online e-commerce sites, Alibaba, like every other small enterprise, was unable to pay the wages of the employees and is on the verge of bankruptcy. It was then that Ma put in more efforts and motivated his employees to overcome the challenges the company is facing, fight with the pioneers. In the early years, he competed with e-commerce legend eBay at that time. eBay used to charge retailers for selling their products on site. Alibaba, in turn, has never charged the retailers, making it free. For the first three years, even though the company ran on losses, he received a lot of emails and messages from customers in regard to satisfaction with the service provided. This gave him hope that one day it would be successful. Little by little, he developed his business. He said, eBay is a shark in the ocean. We are a crocodile in the Yangtze River. If we fight the ocean, we will lose. But if we fight in the river, we will win. He introduced a chat box option and phone calls for customers so they can contact retailers directly. He gave importance to customer satisfaction, local customer issues, and gained their trust by particularly catering to the Chinese people and businesses. He also worked on team building and has taken many bold decisions. Ma wanted to improve the global e-commerce system, and in 2003, he founded Taobao Marketplace, Ali Mama, and Lynx. After the rapid rise of Taobao, eBay offered to purchase the company. However, Ma rejected their offer. To instill confidence in online sales, Alipay was created, 2003, to act as a third party in transactions. Six months after the migration, Taobao had captured 60% of the market share, while eBay EachNet held onto 30%. In late 2005, eBay stopped charging users, but was unable to reclaim market share. The growth of Alibaba was rapid. In 2005, it attracted the attention of the American internet portal Yahoo, which bought a 40% stake. By the end of 2006, eBay's market share shrunk to less than 7% and closed down its operations in China and sold them to Tom Online. In 2007, Alibaba.com raised $1.7 billion in its initial public offering IPO, in Hong Kong, stepping down as CEO. Ma stepped down from his post as CEO in 2013 staying on as an executive chairman. Alibaba went public on September 19th, 2014. Today, what we got is not money. What we got is the trust of the people. Jack Ma. Future. He started the Jack Ma Foundation, a philanthropist organization focused on improving education, public health, and environmental problems. He plans to focus on education and return to teaching, his first love before starting an e-commerce business. He wants to retire early, when asked about his opinion on artificial intelligence, he said in 30 years, a robot will likely be on the cover of Time magazine as the best CEO. Machines will do what humans are incapable of doing. Machines will partner and cooperate with humans rather than becoming mankind's biggest enemy. Achievements and controversies. In 2004, Ma was honored as one of the top 10 economic personalities of the year by China Central Television. In September 2005, the World Economic Forum selected Ma as a young global leader. In 2008, Barron's featured him as one of the 30 world's best CEOs. In 2017, Fortune ranked Ma second on its world's 50 greatest leaders list. Disappearance from the public eye. The Financial Times reported it may be connected to speech about criticism on Chinese regulators and banks. Some speculated that Ma is laying low voluntarily. He made a public appearance via video. What we can learn from his story. Never give up on achieving your goals, even if you fail multiple times. Firmly believe in what you dream, even if the whole world doesn't. You needn't be an expert, but be the first one to start. Be quick to act upon the opportunity. What did you learn from his life story? Mention it in the comments below. And if you love the video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. 
Watch our next video on a guy who changed the way we use phones forever, Steve Jobs.